happening in Florida. Uh, I know it doesn't sound like it, you don't see it everywhere, but let me tell you about where it's taken place and what inspired us to, to start this movement for ethics reform across the state. In Palm Beach County, they were known as Corruption County up until 2010. They had four, four county commissioners go to jail. The state attorney put together a grand jury, and that grand jury report said we've got to do three things to deal with corruption in our community in Palm Beach County. And those three things were one, we need an ethics commission at the county level to deal with, with local ethics law violations. We need an ethics code for Palm Beach County that goes further than the state code. And we need uh, an independent inspector general to follow the money at all, all levels of government in Palm Beach County. And you know what? The community came together and they passed it because of the League of Women Voters, because of the Tea Party, because of Republicans and Democrats, independents, business community working together. Uh, the leader of that, of that Palm Beach County movement Marty Rogel is on our board of directors. He was actually the first person I called, and I, I met him through the Chamber of Commerce world, and, and I knew that he cared about ethics reform. I knew there were some groups who wouldn't join because they weren't focused on ethics reform. Uh, so Marty was the head of Leadership Palm Beach at the time in 2010, and he brought together this diverse coalition, and that's the model. That's how we do it. That's how we're going to solve problems like ethics reform in, in our community, in our state, in our country. We've got to get the partisanship out of the room, We've got to bring people together to isolate a problem that we all agree is a problem, to focus on the, the set of solutions that we can all agree on and work together on. And that's the great opportunity about ethics reform and open government. There's, there's not a whole lot of folks out there lobbying pro-corruption. The pro-corruption movement is losing ground. We can beat them. Uh, and and it, it really is happening. Uh, in Jacksonville, they did something similar. There's an ethics enforcement agency in place in, in, in Jacksonville, and it's working. If you have a concern about an official acting uh, in an unethical manner in Jacksonville, you can bring that concern and voice it publicly at the Ethics Commission in Jacksonville. So there's a grassroots, ground-up movement that is, that is taking our, our state back, taking our communities back, raising the level of integrity in government, ethics in government. That being said, said, here's the bad news. Florida is still the national leader in public corruption. A uh, research report that we'll preview tonight that we're going to release on June 6 shows clearly that Florida, well above any other state in the country, is number one in federal public corruption convictions between the years 2000 and 2010. 